I do remember uh, that I had a friend who, um, instead of going to Hebrew school, was going to a uh, uh, Sholem Aleichem school and got bar mitzvahed in the middle of the week. And I thought that was very cool. And this was so already, you know, I was 13. I don't, that, that to have like made this distinction that he was learning Yiddish, not Hebrew. I thought that was, you know, this seemed to be um, uh, politically more, um, I, I wouldn't have used the word progressive then, but it, it seemed to be more political. I mean, I, the whole thing in, uh, I have to say that one of the things that, that um, was a big uh, uh, turnoff to me about Hebrew school was what I would have perceived of, and again, this is not a word that I would have used. I don't, I don't know how I would have described it, but it seemed very chauvinist to me, very nationalist, you know, like very, and I didn't get it. I mean, there were all these, to me, it was like all these privileged middle class kids, and, you know, what was the big, you know, the, what was the big, I just, just could not connect with it at all. Whereas what my friend was doing just seemed, the whole thing seemed very, you know, uh, uh, interesting and in a funny sort of way more authentic. But it, I didn't have enough, I mean, I wasn't mo motivated enough to, to, to tell my parents, yes, I want to go to like the Sholem Belechem Shul, like Maddie, you know, or something like that. I mean, you know, I wasn't going to take it that far. But I do, so I do remember this interest going back.